Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video we'll see how to create a Docker image with CentOS 7 as a system base and also how to install Java 11 inside of this image. That way we can create a lot of cont containers using these features on a very easy way. And for doing this, the first thing that we are going to do is to create a Docker file. Docker file. And for doing this, you can use any editor that you prefer. I'm using BI. So I'm going to edit this file. Starting with the from sentence here. Specifying that I'm going to use CentOS 7. And then I'm going to add the wrong command to specify Docker what it will run during the, the build process. In this case, I want to install Java 11. And finally, we'll add the instruction that the container will run the first time that it starts. In this case, I, I want to the container to start with bash. So this is the, the entry line. Okay, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to build my, uh, before I build the image, I'm going to show you that currently I have two images not related with CentOS, which is BB board and, and one image for node. So, I'm going to build a new image using the tag flag. I'm going to specify the, the name, which will see um, local CentOS version 7.0. And I'm going to use the local path or, or the current path to retrieve the Docker file. Okay. As you can see, started with the from CentOS colon 7, and it is downloading the image from the Docker repository, the Docker registry, it is pulling is pulling out the, the image, the, the system base. After that, it will install Java 11, but it will take a few minutes, so I'm going to pause the video and resume when it is done. Okay, as you can see, it started the phase two, which is the Java installation. It will get all the dependencies and it will install it inside of the, the image. So I'm going to pause the video and resume when it is done. Okay, the process just finished. It will complete the, the third uh, task, which is configuring the command entry when the when the container starts okay so i'm going to verify that the docker image has been created and as you can see we have this local centos with tag 7.0 the image id when it was created and this image size okay so i'm going to run this image and create a container so we can verify the Java version in it. Okay, Docker run. This one. Okay, I'm going to run the image. The container has been created. As you can see, I'm inside of the container because the prompt has changed. So now is this one and if I do this I'm going to get the Java version which is 11 this is expected and also I can verify the operating system version which should be CentOS 7 and it is okay this is all for this video I hope you enjoy it please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Thanks.